Here we're asked, what is the pH of 0.3 molar aqueous formic acid? Formic acid is a weak acid, and here we're given the acid dissociation constant, which is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. So here I have written the um, ionization, and we have formic acid in water. We were told it was aqueous, and that will partially ionize to produce formate ion and hydronium ion. But not very much is going to dissociate. So what I'm going to do is set up my equilibrium ice table and let's see what we have here. Um, initially we have 0.3 molar formic acid. Of course initially we would have zero formate ion and zero hydronium ion. And during the course of the reaction, the formic acid concentration is going to decrease by some con concentration, excuse me, by some concentration X. And the concentrations of formate ion and hydronium ion will increase by the same amount X. And then finally at equilibrium, the concentration of formic acid will be 0.3 minus X, and here for formate ion and hydronium ion, we just have concentration X. So now I can set up my equilibrium constant expression. So now I can set up my acid dissociation constant expression, and Ka, that's going to be equal to X times X divided by 0 0.3 minus X. And we can set that equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. So let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And here we go. Oh, that's not negative 8. That is negative 4. Okay, here we go. Now, what I'm going to do is the acid dissociation constant is 10 to the minus 4. And then I, can, I look at my initial concentration of 0.3 molar. I'm going to assume that X is very, very, very small compared to 0.3 molar. So we make the assumption here that 0.3 minus X is approximately 0.3. So in other words, um, this concentration is not going to be, make a difference. It's, it's negligible compared to 0.3. So let's go ahead then and rewrite our expression here. So this simplifies then to x squared over 0.3 equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. What I want to do here now is solve for x and let's see, let's get the x squared by itself. We're going to have 0.3 times 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. And what I can do here is take the square root of both sides. And I'm going to end up with x equal to 0 0.00735 molar. Now, remember x is equal to the hydronium ion concentration and we are asked to determine the pH of the solution. So pH is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration going to be the negative log of 0 0.00735 and our pH then in this case is going to be 2.14 and that makes sense because we uh, we started off uh, of course uh, we have a weak acid and the weak acid does not ionize much um, so we would expect the solution to be acidic. Now, one very important thing that I haven't done yet and that 
I do need to do is check my assumption. So I'm going to check assumption. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take 0.3 and subtract 0 0.00735 and that is approximately 0 0.3 molar. So my assumption was valid and you know I'm confident um, that the pH is 2.14. Now if my assumption wouldn't have been valid then I would have needed to use the quadratic formula.